Welcome back. We are here looking at the um, commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 27, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So let's start by looking at the, the US dollar index. And as you can see, we are basically trending at the same level as we started. We have a crossing here of the 20 and the 50 moving average. We will most likely have. Um, and at this current stage, rallies up towards the 20 exponential will most likely be sold into. So we haven't had a major rally in the US in dollar index, uh, basically all the way back towards the middle of March. So at this, at this current stage, we are just trending ever lower. If you look at technical indicators, they are still very bearish. MACD is negative territory, well below the signal line. Stochastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and also the RSI is bearish. So the RSI is at 30, uh, 35 at this current stage, and that could mean that we'll drop for one or two more days, and then it will rally as it will basically become in oversold territory, and will also be fairly overstretched if that is the case. But rallies from here will most likely be sold into at the 20 exponential. So let's look at the U at oil, sorry. So also here, oil fell uh, earlier today, and then it rallied. Now we're trading just above uh, the 50 moving average, and uh, that rally at the end of the day was fairly bullish. So we did not manage to break below the 50 or basically stop below the 50. If that was the case, then we could head towards the previous lows here at 57. But at this current stage, it looks like we're going to head back towards the previous highs here at 63. If that basically breaks, then we could head towards 67. Technologies are fairly all over the place or flat. So RSI is flat, the CCI is kind of bullish at this point, stochastic is flat, and the MACD is flat as well. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas continues to rally, and um, yes, uh, really surprising, but we do have a crossing here at the 20 and the 50, uh, 20 exponential and the 50 moving average, and that is a very bullish shine. So at this current stage, we are approaching overbought conditions. This time of year, that's very um, surprising, and uh, it looks like we are heading towards the $3 range, or these previous highs here at all the way up at 3 point. Zero 09. If we get to that point, we'll probably create a double top. And if we break above that, then we mostly go all the way up towards these previous highs at 3.3. But that is fairly far off. But this move was very surprising, uh, considering what time of year it is. And um, yes, if we look at other technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is way above zero and also way above the signal line, very bullish. The stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish. So we are overstretched at this current stage. We can see that we were also stretched here. It pulled back a little bit. Also here, it pulled back a little bit. So pullbacks at this current stage could be, uh, are possible as we're also approaching or bot conditions. But uh, pullbacks all the way down to the 20 exponential, that'll probably offer massive support at this current stage. So let's look at copper. So copper is now, well, getting way ahead of itself. So target here is most likely um, 4.5, but we are getting way outside of the bullish band and we're also approaching overbought conditions. So at this stage, pullbacks towards um, the previous highs here at 4.3, that is uh, plausible and uh, most likely what is going to happen before we are going to go higher. If you go higher from here, then the fall will only be bigger. You can see what happened here when we had this massive rally. It did rally outside of the bullish band for several days, but then it fell nearly all the way down towards the 50 moving average, a massive fall for several days. So, so when it gets um, significantly overstretched and overbought, it tends to snap um, quickly 
towards the downside and have a nasty fall. So at this point, if it, if we draw from here, then the previous highs over here will most likely be our support. If that breaks, then we have the 20 exponential moving average down here at 4.17. Technical indicators otherwise are very bullish. So let's look at gold. So gold is, um, well, has recovered a little bit today. Uh, we have the crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average. And uh, if you look at technical indicators, they are, well, fairly mixed. The MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, CCI is becoming bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. We'll most likely test the 20 exponential. And if we bounce from the 20 exponential, it could mean that we'll take out these previous highs at 1800. And if 1800 breaks, then we'll most likely go toward 1850 and 1900 as well. Breaking below the 50, that opens the door to the previous lows down here. So let's look at silver. So silver has uh, bounced from the 50 moving average. And uh, at this current stage, it looks like we're going to head towards the top of this range again at 26.64. Technical indicators are also fairly mixed. RSI is flat. CCI is still in bullish territory, but it's becoming bearish. So stochastic is bearish, and the uh, MACD is bullish at this point. If we break uh, above these previous highs, then we could head towards 27. Break below the 200 moving average could open the door to the very lows here at 23. So let's look at platinum. So it has been a really good day for the metals market and the precious metal market or and also for, for commodities as a whole. And um, as you can see, we have also rallied here uh, towards the top of the Bollinger Band and uh, it looks like we're just doing more of the same. We're still in a slight uptrend, but it is a gradual grind towards the 1300. So rallies up towards the top of the Bollinger Band have been sold into. We can see it will most likely be sold into again until we basically hit these previous highs over here at 1300. Technical units are all very bullish at this current stage. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium continues to rally and now we're approaching 3000. We're trading at the 2912 at this point. We are overbought or on the edge of being overbought technical indicators otherwise are very bullish but we are very overstretched here we have been for a very long time and uh, that only means that it is very risky to buy it at this stage because a pullback towards uh, support could happen at any point and the support should be around uh, 2.750 or 2750 so let's look at um, aluminium So aluminium is also getting uh, very overstretched. It has rallied towards the top of the bullish band, broken towards the middle, and just continue in that fashion. And it's just a matter of time before we see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band yet again. So at this current stage, we are over on the edge of being overbought. We are overstretched here, and other technical indicators are very bullish. So 20 exponential or the middle of the bullish band has been major support in the past. And that's also probably where buyers will come back in when it falls. So long-term target here is uh, 2,500. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has rallied today. It is uh, showing signs of life and heading towards the previous highs here, which uh, is fairly far off yet. So it's basically the top of the bullish band, but this will not become fairly interesting until we basically break the 50 moving average and basically close above the 50 moving average. So uh, we're far away from that. And so to the downside, if we manage to break below the 200 moving average and close there, that could basically open the door to 15,000. Otherwise, we are looking at 20,000 to the upside. Technical indicators are all turning around and are looking fairly bullish at this current stage. So let's look at sugar. So also sugar market has rallied. We're trading at 0 0.1713. Technical indicators are all bullish at this current stage. We have a crossing here at the 20 and the 50 moving average, and that is a very bullish shine. Pullbacks from here will most likely find support at the 20. And uh, yes, long-term target will probably be these previous highs at 0 0.1878. 
8. So let's look at cotton. So cotton is also getting fairly overstretched. We are at 66 in the RSI, so uh, four points away from being our bot. We'll most likely have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average in the next few trading days, and that will also catapult this even higher. So it looks like we are going to retest the previous highs so all the way up here at 0 0.9527. But the pullbacks should be expected um, in between. If we manage to break below the 20 exponential, then we could head all the way back to where the bottom. But this looks like this trend, downtrend, has been broken and we're heading now towards the upside. So let's look at Kokoa. So also here we have broken, uh, broken the uh, 200 moving average and even the 50 moving average and I also have closed below, above that. So we did do that, um, well, last week, but broke down quite aggressively on Tuesday. And then we're just slightly grinding towards the upside again. Technical negatives otherwise are very bullish. So if you get another green candlestick above here tomorrow and break these previous highs, then we could head towards 26 So this has been a market that has been all over the place and has been really, really difficult to trade. Um, so until we basically get a clear trend, um, I would stay far away from this. So let's look at wheat. So wheat market is getting completely out of hand. Uh, we are approaching, we are at 80 at this current stage and significantly overbought. Uh, other technical indicators are very bullish. And uh, if you look at the Mac, at the Bollinger Band at this point, we are significantly outside and uh, this is one this is a market that almost is screaming for a pullback and uh, the question is where we'll pull back to 700 is a very round number and uh, markets like round numbers so that's probably going to offer quite a lot of support otherwise these previous highs here down here at 60 uh, 682 84 will probably be also offer quite a lot of support otherwise is the 220 exponential which is far away at 661 so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to uh, you hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to your newest videos and you're welcome to join us over patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much